Hey y'all, Jed's here. Thanks for tuning in. I've got something really exciting today. I uh, I bought my dream motorcycle the other uh, yesterday. Um, I'm at the 1926 Nashville School, um, built in 1926. That's actually the new school. That's the original. So we're gonna take a little ride on this VMAX 1700. It's time to ride. <laughs> All right, so if you guys don't know what a VMAX is, you should look it up. It's, a pr it's one of the most iconic motorcycles, Japanese motorcycles ever made. The first one coming out, I believe in like, I want to say 86 or 87, might have been 88 too, but it was a 1200 V4. And it was just remarkably quick for the time. So there was two generations. So they did the Gen 1 and that one ended around 07 I believe. And then the VMAX wasn't uh, available with the Gen 2 in American market until 2009. And this is what this is. This is a 2009 Yamaha VMAX 1700. It is a 1700 V4. And it is just remarkably fast. Remarkably fast. And uh, this was kind of like been my dream bike. Um, I first laid hands on these uh, back in like... The first bike I saw, the VMAX 1700, was 2009. And, uh, you know, just the magnesium side covers, all the stainless steel. I mean, this thing is just covered in stainless steel. Oh. Whew. Yeah, baby. Nice to have a proper hyper bike again. Oh, man. So I first laid eyes on it in 2009, and I was like, man, I really want this bike. And it was mainly the thing that made me want this bike so bad was... The scene from Final Fantasy VII, the motorcycle scene, where Cloud Strife pretty much shatters glass and drives down the highway out of VMAX. That's where I knew I wanted a motorcycle like that. Look at this motor. The engine's humongous. Look at it. Look at my hands. It's it's fun it's just all about the engine. This bike is just all about the engine. And Yamaha did spared no expense in the R&D on this thing. 32,000 mile valve adjustments. 32,000 miles. And they usually never need them. In fact, I have yet to read one where someone's had the valve adjustment done and they were out of whack. The motor's so tight. 11 to 1 compression ratio. She just rips. Oh, burnout. 0 to 60 in 2 and a half seconds or less. All depending on the skill of the rider. And this bike is no slouch and it handles really well. Alright, just had uh, it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's kilometers an hour. Sure. It's just a monster. It is a monster. I would call it the Vermonster. Watch out, Green Mountains. There's a new Vermonster loose. Let's just uh, see what happens here. We'll do a roll on here. Spun the gear tire in second gear there. I mean, it's phenomenal. It's ridiculous, which is awesome. And uh, I'm going to say uh, my thoughts and impressions of the the VMAX. Now, I rode one a long time ago um, on a demo ride, and I just loved it. And uh, I had uh, B King 
1340, which is a naked Hayabusa, which was basically came out in 2008 and was really to kind of rival the new Gen 2 VMAX. And I gotta tell you, I've owned now both the B-King and a VMAX, and the VMAX is just the better bike. Has better brakes, they, the, the, it's, the engine is more, better performing for being a roadster. Um, it really, when you ride the B-King, you could tell it's a Hayabusa engine because it wants to kind of rev out before you start getting into stupid power. Where this one's just got ridiculous pull south of 4,000 RPM. Like ridiculous pull. I'm gonna probably adjust my shift light for fuel economy so that I don't kill it. And here's the thing about this bike, and I'm not gonna say I don't like it, because if I didn't like it, I wouldn't have bought it. And it's kind of just like, kind of testament of what the VMAX is all about. This bike, gets anywhere from max 35, 40 miles a gallon to about 20 to 25 on the low end. 20 to 25. But you understand, you're working with a bike that makes 200 horsepower to the crank. Most cars, to get that number, you gotta put a turbocharger on. So yeah, it's gonna need fuel and, uh, and it's fine. Uh, I'm not gonna complain and it takes premium. High compression engine, makes sense. Like I said, you don't buy this bike because it gets good fuel economy and, you know, has a good range. It doesn't, and that's the other thing. This thing's got a four gallon gas tank, guys. So do the math, 80 low, maybe 150 high if you milk it. Milk it, and how can you milk it when you have this much power. Jesus. Oh, just roasted the tire again. How, when you have this much power at your disposal, <laughs> it doesn't wheelie. It just burns out, by the way, guys. It's just uh, so awesome. Well, I'm going to turn this one around. Oh, my gosh. So, um,. And these inlets here, these big silver things, these are your air inlets. And they're on a servo, do, and they adjust the length of the CV. Um, you know, the trumpet basically for your inlets so you get more horsepower as you increase RPM. Ingenious. And these guys are stainless. These are not plastic. And the side panels are stainless. It's crazy, the amount of detail. Third gear. Amazing, amazing. Uh, it's just nice to have a fast motorcycle again. Um, I've, I've had a few fast bikes, you know, the B, the B King and uh, the Z, uh, the Concourse 14, which I tuned out, which was quick. Not as fast as this, but it was fast. Um, maybe it was faster on the high end. It might have, it might beat this out on the high end. But um, good lord torque is just amazing and this is why I bought it it's just to kind of get on and blast this is not my commuter bike this is not my touring bike this is the I'm getting on I'm going for a ride leave me alone bike yeah I'm gonna finish up my ride I'm gonna turn off my equipment I'm gonna you know have some fun with my my Yamaha and uh I'm going to name it. I, you know, I'd love some suggestions. I think I know what I want to name it, but I'd like to see some others. Um, you know, whatever. <laughs> the VMAX. Oh my goodness. What a machine. What a machine. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. If you, like what you, if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, hey! FYI, 
big shout out to all you subscribers. Thank you very much. Hit 1,000 subscribers uh, a couple weeks ago. I haven't had a chance to make a video yet, and I apologize. I've been exceptionally busy with work. I actually took two days off for myself, but I want to thank you guys because uh, in that time I have um, I got I hit 1,000 subs, and, and I really appreciate all you guys tuning in and following along on my crazy antics in Vermont. So. And that means if you haven't subscribed, you should subscribe too. All right. Well, guys, keep it shiny side up out there. You know, be safe, ride hard, ride fun, ride fast. And I'll see you on the flip. Best.